very uh, good evening to all of you and uh, i i want to thank uh, uh, dr patel ji and akita ji and the whole uh, family of bn patel group um for inviting me for this talk uh, i am speaking from jaipur and uh, also in a area where there is a lot of disturbance lot of you know curfew lot of problem of internet so there has been delay in my start so i really regret about that so my apologies to you and uh, i would like to once again thank uh, uh, patel sir and uh, arpita ji for inviting me for this interaction uh, i hope uh, i am able to you are able to hear me and see me right thank you see <clears throat> अर्पिता जी ने मुझसे बोला कि मुझे बोलना है ऑन द हैप्पीनेस इनर हैप्पीनेस एंड पीस या यू कैन से इनर पीस एंड हैप्पीनेस सो एक होती है सुख और एक है शांति तो ये आप सोचेंगे कि शांति बड़ी है या सुख सो अगेन चलिए ठीक है बहुत सारे लोग अब हेलो कर रहे हैं तो बहुत अच्छी बात है इसका मतलब आपको हमारी बात सुनाई दे रही है बड़ी खुशी की बात है थैंक यू सो देखिए जो सुख होता है ना सुख की परिभाषा हर एक व्यक्ति की अलग अलग होती है और अक्सर ये सवाल होता है कि साहब शांति बड़ी है या सुख बड़ा है लेकिन मैंने अपने व्यक्तिगत अनुभव से देखा है कि हमेशा जो शांति है वो बड़ी होती है क्योंकि शांति में सुख अपने आप होता है और लेकिन जो सुख है उसमें शांति हो उसकी कोई गारंटी नहीं है तो पहली बात तो मैं आपको ये कहना चाहता हूँ और दूसरी बात ये कि बड़े बड़े ज्ञानियों ने बड़ी बड़ी बात कही है कि साहब हैप्पीनेस अगर पाना है तो ये पीस अगर पानी है तो ये करो और जैसा कि आजकल हम देख रहे हैं एज वी आर लुकिंग एट यू नो दैट मैं इसको हिंदी इंग्लिश दोनों मिला जुला बोलूंगा आई नो यूर इन गुजराती इन आनंद एन ऑल यू अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी तो आपके साथ ये नहीं है कि साहब कि कोई कहते हिंदी को तिल्ला है ना लोग बोलते हैं कन्नड़ में आई वॉज बहुत अलग अलग जगह मैंने काम किया है इन ऑल ओवर वर्ल्ड तो हर जगह के एक्सपीरियंस होते हैं काफ़ी टाइम शांति में भी रहा अलग हिमालय भी घूमा काफ़ी अलग अलग एक्सपीरियंस रहे हैं तो मैं ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि पहले हम सुख की बात करते हैं कि सुख क्या है देखिए सुख की जो परिभाषा है वो हर एक व्यक्ति के लिए अलग अलग होती है कुछ लोगों को सुखी इस बात में होता है जैसे आप स्टूडेंट हैं कि साहब बड़े अच्छे नंबर आ जाएं और फिर हमारा बहुत अच्छा सा प्लेसमेंट हो जाए अच्छी शादी हो जाए बढ़िया मोटे ताजे बच्चे हो जाएं और तो ये सब चीज़ें कई लोगों के लिए सुख का विषय हो सकती है मदर फादर भी ये सोचते हैं कि चलो भाई मेरा लड़का लड़की सब उसकी जो जिम्मेदारियाँ थी वो मैंने निपटा दी और लेकिन कुछ लोगों के लिए सुख के विषय कुछ और हो सकते हैं जैसे कई हमारे स्टूडेंट हैं वो ये कह सकते हैं कि सुख तभी है कि जब मुझे इतने लाख का जॉब मिलेगा हमें इस तरह की लड़की मिलेगी या इस तरह का लड़का मिलेगा और उस तरह के अलग अलग तरह से हम लोग जो अपनी परिभाषा है सुख की बना लेते हैं और फिर उस सुख में क्या होता है कि फिर हमारी कुछ एक्सपेक्टेशन बनती है और नेचुरली जो हार्श रियलिटी है उसकी एक्सपेक्टेशन से वो तुलना जब हम करते हैं तो लगता है कि अरे साहब ये तो नहीं मिला तो उसी से दुख पैदा होता है कई बार हमारी जो इच्छाएं हैं उनके जो हम गुलाम होते हैं उसकी वजह से ही दुख का एक कारण पैदा होता है लेकिन आप सारे यंग लोग हैं हम आपको कभी ये नहीं कहेंगे कि आप जो आ, अलग अलग चीज़ें जिनको आप एम कर रहे हैं उनको आप ना हासिल करें बिल्कुल आप हासिल करें क्योंकि कई बार ये भी होता है कि जब तक आपने किसी चीज़ को भूखा नहीं है प्राप्त नहीं किया है तब तक आप उसको कैसे कह सकते हैं कि साहब ये चीज़ वाकई में मेरे को चाहिए थी या नहीं चाहिए थी आमतौर में दो चीज़ें देखी गई हैं पहली बात तो ये होती है कि जैसे लोग कहते हैं कि बुलबुलों को ये हसरत है कि हम उल्लू ना हुए लिली सेज दैट वाई आई एम नॉट एन ओप एक ही बहुत बड़ा सा कारण होता है कि हमें जो चीज़ मिली हुई है हम उससे कभी खुश नहीं होते हैं हमें हमेशा जो ग्रास है वो दूसरी तरफ ही ज़्यादा ग्रीन लगती है और उसी में हम भागते रहते हैं और 
इसकी जो अपोजिट फिलोसफी है जो वेदांतिक फिलोसफी है वो ये कहती है कि जो प्राप्त है वो पर्याप्त है कि जो मिला हुआ है वही को सर्वोपरि मानो और वहीं से आगे बढ़ने का अपना रास्ता निकालो तो एक तो ये बात हो गई ये समझना कि क्या हमारे अंदर वाकई में कोई अभाव है क्या हमारे अंदर वाकई में कोई कमी है और यह जो कमी का बार बार विचार आता है वो कहां से आ रहा है कई बार इसके मूल विचार में ये जरूर होता है कि बचपन में हमारे साथ कोई बात हो गई किसी ने हमारी बेजती कर दी या कुछ कर दिया आप सभी लोगों को बड़ा गुड इवनिंग सब लोगों ने कहा कि गुड इवनिंग मैसेज भेजें तो आप लोगों को फिर से नमस्कार तो मैं ये कह रहा था कि कई बार हमारे मन में ये विचार आता है कि जैसे बचपन में हमारी बेजती किसी ने कर दी कह रहे यार तेरे पास इतना ही पैसा है अच्छा तू तो मारुति एट हंड्रेड गाड़ी से आई अरे बड़ी गाड़ी से क्यों नहीं आई तो मन में उसको बैठा लेते हैं कि अच्छा आप ये करके दिखाना है तो ये बात ठीक है आप उसको अगर आप देखें कि बाहर के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से हमें इस चीज को हासिल करना है उसमें कोई बुराई नहीं आप उसको हासिल करें लेकिन आपकी जो अंदर की दशा है उसको कई बार हम समझते मान लो हमारे पास अगर कोई बाहर की वस्तु नहीं है तो हम खुद ही हीन होंगे ये जो विचार है ये सबसे बुरी बुरी चीज है ये आपकी हैप्पीनेस तुरंत चुरा लेता है जहां आपने कहा कि हमारे अंदर कोई कमी है देखो हमारे पास पैसा नहीं है उस तरह के बड़े स्मार्ट वाले कपड़े नहीं है या हमारे पास वो लुक्स नहीं है या मैं तो देखो फली पांच फुट की हूँ तो इस तरह के जो विचार होते हैं ये आपकी प्रसन्नता तो दो मिनट में ले होते हैं आपने इधर में देखा होगा जो दो चार मूवीज आई जैसे वो कौन सी थी वो उड़ता चमन और ये सब जो तरह की मूवीज थी आपने देखा होगा कि जैसे कैसे वो ये बाला कैसे बंदा गंजा था कितना परेशान होता था और बाद में जब उसने देखा कि हमें पहले अपने आप को ही एक्सेप्ट करना है तो जब उसने अपने आप को एक्सेप्ट किया तो उसने देखा कि भाई जिस लड़की जो उसको प्यार करती थी उसने देखा वो उसको मोटी मोटी कहता था तो उसको ये जब अपने दर्द को समझा तो दूसरे के दर्द को भी समझ पाया तो मैं पहली चीज तो आपसे कहता हूं कि जो भी आपके मन में ऑब्जेक्टिव है हैप्पीनेस को लेकर के आप पहले उस चीज को ध्यान से देखें कि क्या वो हैप्पीनेस उस चीज से आ रही है या हमारे अंदर के किसी विकार से हमें असंतोष पैदा हो रहा है जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक व्यक्ति को मान लीजिए बहुत आनंद आता है सिगरेट पीने में उसके लिए वो हैप्पीनेस का विषय है लेकिन एक दूसरा दोस्त जो नॉन स्मोकर है उसको ही वो कह सकता है कि अरे यार ये क्या पी रहे हो हमें तो बड़ा इससे परेशानी है एलर्जी है आप मेरी बात समझ पा रहे हैं ना ओके सो वॉट ओके थैंक यू अर्पिता जी सो अदर पर्सन मे फील अर्पिता जी यू प्लीज गिविंग मी फीडबैक लाइक दिस इट इज बेटर सो वॉट आई विस टू से अर्पिता जी आई एम एबल टू एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू so what i was saying to you that uh, one person may have a lot of uh, excitement towards smoking while the other person may feel that uh, smoking is no good while somebody may really feel that okay i should marry this person but somebody will say that i want to get rid of this person we will see that the happiness and pleasure is not in that cigarette or not in that man or a woman it is all only your own perception that is how you feel that i am getting happiness out of this or i am not getting happiness out of that then the other thing is that what is your own self image if you are having a feeling of being blissful right now right here if you feel with this notion if whatever i need is already given to me and you feel a feeling of uh fulfillment right now then that will give you a lot of happiness all the time but when you feel that okay i am not good enough there is this problem and that problem then you will be always upset now let me share some vedantic wisdom with you that how do we feel happiness by these objects by the way i am not here to tell you that do not uh you know just leave all the objects live a life like a monk i'm not saying that but to know that question is that if you are aware where you are and if you are liking something then why you are liking it 
then it is always useful to you. Let me give you an example. Um, we all see that uh, we feel very, very excited in the moonlight, and especially during the Purnamasi day, we see when the uh, whole moon is full and there is a nice light there. Uh, and many you know lovers also fantasize to be out in that moonlight. But do you really know that is it the light of the moon? We know that we have so many other uh, opinions about many things. Like earlier, we thought that as if the sun is revolving the moon, later we realize no, it is the earth which is revolving the moon. And like that, many other misconceptions we had. And uh, so now we know that. When the light from the moon is coming, it is not the light of the moon, but it is actually the reflected light of the sun. So in the same manner, the happiness which you are getting from these sense objects by watching certain kind of movies or indulging into certain things or getting some temporary happiness out of something, they are also like uh, looking like a moonlight. But the real thing is coming from yourself. It is the self which is experiencing all those happiness, pleasure, and pains. Imagine a time when you were supposed to go to Goa to celebrate your new year, and you are there on a beach with your friends. You are feeling very, very blissful there. But it all depends that what is the mindset you have. Suppose uh, you are there on a beach and still you are thinking, oh my God, on the 2nd of January, my exams are going to start. I have to go back to Anand and uh, my flight to Ahmedabad is still not confirmed. What will I do? Will I be able to reach Anand and my wonderful institute in time or not? Or whether will I get flunk? So if all these kind of thoughts are there in your mind, then will you be really able to enjoy your current moment in the beach? You may be having a very blissful setting, so, but your mental condition will be very, very bad at that stage. So, right is the saying that people say that um, you can create heaven out of a hell and or hell out of a heaven. It all depends on your own wish and also your own thinking and your own surroundings. So you have to really very carefully watch your mind. And therefore what we say that many times we are working under the influence of Abhav and Prabhav. Abhav means something is missing in me. Prabhav means you are living in somebody else's influence. But what you have to do, you have to live in your Subhav. That means what is my true nature and what I have to do now with that. If you dedicate your life with your Swabhav and living a life with your Swadharma, Swadharma means suppose you are a fish, then enjoy swimming. If you are a squirrel, then you enjoy jumping on the tree and like that. But do not try that being a squirrel and you try to swim, you will be nowhere. So whatever you do is as per Swabhav and Swadharma and doing the nishkam karma many times we, we are very calculative in our approach even if we like somebody's picture on our facebook or instagram we immediately calculate oh this person will also like mine and when they do not do that that lead to anger and that lead to frustration you will sometimes not like their picture or sometimes you will try to unfriend that person uh, so you want reciprocity everywhere, but if you look in a deeper way, you will find out that is it not the business, you know, just uh, give and take, or there are some people who are there only like a taker, oh, it is my right, I am a daughter, so far as a father, you are supposed to do this, I am a son, I have all the right to ask anything from my mom, or so on and so forth. So that is a taker approach or a business approach. The third approach is 
approach of giving and also unconditional giving. If you follow this approach of giving, then naturally you will be uh, always very happy. There is no competition because there are very few givers. And when you also become a giver in a way where you feel that as if you are not giving, it is like you are getting from somewhere and something is being passing on. So that would be very, very important for you. Um, now we talk about peace. And even for happiness also, let me share one or two more thoughts with you. So one thought is there that unless we have the attitude of gratitude, you will always remain unhappy and miserable. If you are having a more and more gratitude, you will be more and more happy all the time. That is known as the Shukran. I'm just giving you a few principles of happiness. So firstly, I've told you that do not live in any abhav and prabhav, live in your sofhav. Live in right now, right here. Then I told you that about gratitude. Always feel so much gratitude to your parents, to your school, to your teachers, to your colleagues, to your company, and even to your even to yourself also. You need to be very, very grateful even to yourself that you have a good working body and everything. Feel grateful. I remember one of my bosses used to feel very happy and bubbly. Oh yes, yes, Pankaj, I have God, I am alive today. So firstly, I thought that what he is saying, but later I realized that it is such a great gift that we are alive. We have got one more day in life. We are able to breathe. We are not uh, suffering from corona or, corona or other things. So if you have an attitude of gratitude that you will have so many moments to celebrate, and when you do not have a heart or heart full of gratitude, you will always find fault everywhere. And believe me, if you have that kind of mentality of finding fault everywhere, you can never be happy. Now, so one is gratitude, second is uh, shukran, sabran. Sabran is, you know, have patience. There are certain things in life, they will come in their own way. So you need to just keep doing your karma. And at the right time, those things will anyway come to you. I have already told you that what is the real meaning of those happiness and other things, but shukram and sabran. Then one very important thing is, you know, raza me raji. Raza me raji means whatever is happening, do not really fight with that. Maybe some way is being opened for you. And if you unnecessarily fight with that, that very path will go away from your side. So what Kabir used to say, uh, it is in Hindi, it says that when mange jo mile wo dood hai, mange mile wo pani, and kabira kahe wo rakh hai, jima kicha pani. So what does it say that what is coming naturally to you is as good as milk. What you ask and you get it is as you know simple as water. Maybe at that time there was no charge on the water, so it was taken as a not so very good thing. And thirdly, he says, Kabira kahe hai jima ki If it is too much of a struggle, probably those things are, you know, not meant for you. And then we need to learn the art that, um, what I can say that when you uh, become like an instrument of God to perform your swadharma, like, you know, there's the Lord Krishna is, you know, having the Basuri and uh, he's singing and you just become like that, you know, Basuri. So then you are working without any ego, without any one up friendship and things are just happening. And believe me, if you operate in this way, there is nobody who can disturb you, who cannot take away your peace of mind. And that is also 
a very guaranteed form of getting good sukh and shanti and for the peace it is also very very important two things are very important that what you cannot change do not fight with that you know the color of your skin the who are your parents you know which city you were born there is no need to fight with that and most of our problems are with that only that we keep saying oh i wish i was this i wish i could have got this there is no point with that harvard has done a research recently and they found out that there are only only 18% people who are living in the moment so you might be wondering that if only 18% then where are the remaining 82% what people do because you is you right the people are their very favorite places are either in the regret of the past or anxieties about the future so that's what people feel validated people have a lot of upsets and everything uh, they will not look into their own responsible behavior they would like to you know blame somebody or oh, because of this one so person i could not get 90 marks in my class 12 or because of this person i couldn't do that and they will always keep craving that way so we need to accept the responsibility and also move on in life if there is any any problem if there is anything what has happened let it happen past has to be yes rajvi what she is saying yeah i agree with you happiness is definitely within you and it all depends on your nature it is depends on your own thing that whether you can be happy with any situation or not otherwise you can be given everything and still you will be unhappy so that is what i was trying to tell you and also i want to tell you that there is something which americans have devised something known as a happiness index and as you might be thinking that there is a mathematical model there that how they calculate that how happy you are they will create a equation the equation will have uh, on the numerator will be how many desire fulfilled divided by total desires so the desire fulfilled upon total desire is happiness index so in a normal way though i already told you in the beginning by giving you example of moonlight that happiness is not dependent on any object if you want to be happy you can be happy in any situation even during lockdown you know that there are some people who are very miserable and there are some people who are busy in doing their own job helping people preparing for their exams doing courses on the course era you then uh, you know edx and like that even when arjuna was sent to the one was he devoted his time in collecting the the vyastra and not like creeping every day Oh my God! I am a prince, and what I am doing here in the jungle. So whatever is happening to you, if you cannot control that, do not fight with that. See that what is the message hidden in there. When I was interacting with the Patel Sahab one day when he was here in Jaipur, I was so touched that how can how and what deep sanskara he has. not only he but in his whole family even to his sons and even to the grandchildren and how much they care about the society and he also shared that i need to see that how my one person is capable for how much and how much they load one person so very very understanding way of leadership i must appreciate uh, patel sahab you for your leadership rather than you give a work to somebody and then you keep telling oh why can't he do this oh he should have done that you have to think fully that whether this person is having a capacity one sees capacity another sees commitment and third is customer orientedness see whether uh, this person is doing because of my over instruction or something else anyway So you can have all the peace which is already there by accepting what you cannot control, and also 
making change where you can make a change. So I believe that this very um, process will definitely make you very, very peace with your own self. And in order to be peaceful and happy, you also must love yourself. Even if there is nobody to love you, you love yourself. And uh, also devoting some time for your inner well-being, which includes uh, time for your physical exercise, yoga, pranayama, meditation, and mindfulness is uh, very, very important. And the period of lockdown is a very perfect time for you, where you can see that why I am running and whether I am running in the right direction. Um, because running is fine, but running in what direction? And what is the quality of my mind? Is it restful or restless all the time? So these uh, things will make us much more at peace. If you are at peace with yourself, no matter whatever happens, you'll be. Uh, nobody can destroy your peace under any situation. Um, so we should gradually think about the real situation of the the real happiness of these uh, object of pleasure, and gradually take our mind. Ah, oh, by the way, I was sharing you with this uh, happiness index. Let me complete that point. So generally, the Americans feel that okay, happiness index, total desire, and the numerator is desire fulfilled. Maybe you have 50 desire and you have total desire at 100. So you can say my happiness index is 50 percent. So you can keep on increasing how much more desire you are able to fulfill. But when you are increasing your desire, uh, fulfilling your uh, desire fulfilled, at the same time, the total desires are also increasing at the same time. So you will never have 100 percent. The only way you can have more happiness when you are able to decline uh, the denominator, like if you have 50 desire fulfilled and your total desires were able to reduce from 100 to 50, then 50 upon 50 will give you 100. So as you are able to decline or decrease your total desires, you will be more and more controlled. So this is what you have to keep in mind. And you know that when your total desire you are able to bring it to zero, then what will happen? Any number divided by zero, what will you get? Infinite. Then your happiness index will be infinite. So if you start looking at life with this man, oh wow, I got this today, very nice. Oh yes, wow. And you start feeling grateful for every day, every small little gift, every person whom you meet, grateful to your parents, Having the patience, Raza Mirazi, and also being like the Vasuri or Katna, then who can disturb your peace of mind? You know, whatever happens, you will take with folded hand, you'll feel happy. If there is something that doesn't happen, you also will not feel bad about it. Then you will again start something else in your life. But nobody can really destroy your peace of mind. And as we have seen in the happiness index, that if we are able to bring down our total desire to zero, once we see that the real moonlight, where it is coming, it is not coming from the moon, but coming from the sun. In the same way, when you will know that all these material objects, their source is myself. Self is the only satya. The whole the world is mithya. So when you know this truth, then that would be very nice. Like, Bhumi Patel ji that expectation leads to unhappiness. I fully agree with you. But expectation will always be there. And for that, I have already given you the solution. That do not be a matcher, do not be a taker, be a giver. There is very less competition out there. Um, so in this way, your inner bhavana will get excited. You will know what direction I am going and am I moving ahead with my uh, sobhav and swadharma and then nobody can make you unhappy at all. So um, I think I have given a long talk, she asked me to give only 20-25 minutes, so I just completed 30 minutes. So I will stop here, now I will ask uh, your questions.
So whatever other questions, I'd be happy to answer. I'm very happy to see that my uh, all the students are very active and they been keep writing the messages and all things. Very really nice. So, Arpita ji, if you can just uh, tell the students if they can ask questions or anybody who would like to discuss. आपको अपने आप को यानी आप जो हो आपको बता दें कि आप क्या हो तो वट आई मीन टू से आपको बिल्कुल अभाव प्रभाव से निकाल के स्वभाव में लिया है और आपको बता दे कि जो डिवाइन लाइट है वो जो ईश्वर उस जिसको आत्मा कहते हैं या कहते हैं कि जो सोर्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग वो आपके अंदर खुद बैठी हुई है द होल डिविनिटी इज ऑलरेडी सिटिंग विद इन यू वॉट वी से अहम ब्रह्मास्मि तत्व दैट आई एम ऑल्सो डिवाइन एंड सो आर यू दैट इज रीजन विल यूज टू से नमस्ते नमा अस्ति सो वॉट आई यूज टू से दैट माई डिविनिटी इज सेलिटिंग द डिविनिटी इन यू सो बट पीपल से ओ बिकॉज ऑल दिस वेस्टर्न कल्चर इज वॉट टू सी हैपीनेस एंड एवरीथिंग एक्सटर्नली So what kind of suit are you wearing? What kind of you know car you are driving? What kind of you know wife you have, and so on and so forth. But please be aware that all these things are such which are not you know that real. What I mean to say that these things can be taken away from you. If you are feeling so proud on your job, job can go any time. Or you are so proud of your money, you can see that during this COVID time. there are a lot of people who are facing a lot of net worth is getting eroded and so on and so forth so we are searching for what is real and the real is only you so your own connect with your own self is the connect with the meditation so in the meditation either you connect uh, there are different ways like some people do this three netra meditation some do over the crown chakra some do on the heart and uh, osho has been telling about the navi meditation so what i suggest like i i have been following the heartfulness uh, meditation system which is a very practical way of doing meditation and uh, you can get it wherever you are and it is a totally non commercial organization it does not charge any money so you can try that and uh, it just mean that you feel that the divine light is already present in my heart and you focus there and at that moment there will be so many thoughts will come at that moment as if the whole emergency has been created you will see that so many thoughts are coming and it will be difficult for you to stop at that moment but gradually you will see if you keep practicing for about 20 days you will see that there is a different level of calm setting in to you and then you will not start getting upset on a small small thing so that was a practice in the ancient time people used to say the gan gyan and dhyan that some sort of music some sort of meditation and some vidya all the three combined together was making a real vidyarthi and that was for the holistic development of everyone otherwise you just been like little bit of well informed person but not a well educated person because One is vidya, another is avidya. 
how will there is many thing which you know is hot today which may not be hot tomorrow like blockchain big data ai machine learning is hot today but that may not remain hot tomorrow but vidya kya hai sa vidya ta vimukta hai it a education is one that liberates you where you know that i am nothing less than anyone nor i need to be uh, higher than anyone you will have the same charm as same power as modi ji may have or trump may have because the respect and regard which you give to yourself that is the only thing which matters because the whole world is always there to put doubt on you all the time oh you are not good enough oh you tum ye ho wo ho but do not listen to them listen to your own inner self and yes up to practice all these will come by meditation when you do meditation gradually you will recover you know that who you are and what is the possibilities you can have for you your own self so arbitrary i hope i answer your question maybe sometime when i come to anand i will do some maybe meditation sessions for your students and faculty members and i hope they may get some benefit In the meanwhile, the students can ask questions. Whatever. Like Purvi ji, thank you Purvi ji, Dawal Panchal ji, aap sab logon ko namaskar. So in the meanwhile, Arpita ji, if she she can give me some more questions, we can talk more in Bali. So it is open for any question and answer. एक स्टेज आती है जिसको कहते हैं कि चाह मिटी चिंता मिटी मनुआ बेपरवाह जिनको कुछ ना चाहिए वो शाहन के शाह चाह मिटी चाह मिटी चिंता मिटी मनुआ बेपरवाह जिनको कुछ ना चाहिए वो शाहन के शाह so i do hope that ignite the leader within you ignite the great person which you already are and uh, the access to that is living in the moment because if you start living mindfully to jo aapke samne current hai na wo sab mil jayega and how the future is created future is created by living mindfully now and that is the only great truth there are a lot of people who will tell you do this planning and that planning it is fine but in that planning sometime you forget the present so what i advise to one of you let me just repeat that love yourself be clear about your priorities yeah <laughs> so so is the writing good comments so what i wish to see live in the moment love yourself see that what is the possibility you carry and then do not listen to anyone simply believe in your heart and take it this way come on hello yeah so um and also knowing what is a true happiness coming from the objects not living in abhav and prabhav but living in subhav being grateful having uh, patience something which is going to come to you will then anyway come to you um rasa me raji and jo prapt hai wo paryapt hai and then being like a flute of lord krishna let it happen do not bother do your karma well be a giver you will see that nobody can take away your happiness 
it will be so nice that somebody is not really uh, liking your picture on the Instagram, but you are still liking. You are not leaving that relationship on a debit balance. You are leaving that on a credit balance to feel that happiness. And then nobody can take away your happiness. And in this way, happiness and peace are very interrelated when you are happy and joyful, cheerful, you are peaceful also. So I really have felt very good in talking to all of you. And uh, I have very, very special regard for Patel Saab and Arpita Ji and for all of you. If there is any further time you want me to interact with you guys, I'll be all available. So I just close my talk. Uh, thank you so much.